Hi, in this Lightboard session, we're going to talk about API versioning. Now, API versioning is quite important because clients can be making requests to existing APIs, and if you make certain changes, you could break their existing calls. So versioning is one way to indicate that you're making a breaking change to your implementation. So from an API versioning perspective, the term that you may hear is semantic version. So the full semantic version for something would be three digits. So you'd have three different digits indicating different types of changes. Now, this one up the front is the most important one from a versioning perspective because this will dictate whether or not you've made a breaking change. So this one here, very critical. This is your major version number. Major versions, you shouldn't have too many of them if you're doing things sensibly and trying to keep the amount of change that is of a breaking nature to a minimum. Uh, there are going to be a lot of requests for additional functionality, and that's what this second one is about. So second one, this is the minor. So this is when you're wanting to do things like add a new operation in the RESTful world. It is a non-breaking action because anyone who's got an existing operation can still call it, and they just ignore the new one. And for anything else, you've got this other spot, which is for, I guess, patch type releases. So let's look at some examples of why you might need to do a major version change. So major version changes, let's say you're dealing with an API and you have a need to add a new mandatory input. OK, so new mandatory input. Now, if you think about existing consumers, they are not going to be feeding in that mandatory input. So if they tried to call the same endpoint, they would be told, you have not supplied enough data. So this would be a breaking change for existing consumers. If you remove functionality or rename, so renames are the same as a remove, a remove and then a, an add of a new function. So as far as removing or renaming, now, this could be something like a field as well. So if you ha were expecting a certain field to come back and someone removes that, then it is quite likely that if it, was a, if it was something you're reliant on, you could have problems on the client side. So it would be something that you would need to increment the major version. So that would be a version 2 of your API. Now, things that would not break. Uh, if you were just updating some documentation, if you were working on your API spec and you made a typo in some sort of human readable bit of the text, those you could probably roll into a patch. Um, minor, I like to use for when I'm adding new features, so new methods and resources. Those are new features, so I would be incrementing that. But I would do everything I can to avoid having to do a major version change. Now, where do these appear in your actual API version? Because this full semantic version is not a suitable one to be exposing as your public API version. So the major version is what's important because we're talking breaking changes. So this one, you'll find it finding its way into your, maybe into the URL, maybe into your API spec. And convention is to put a version V, a little v in there, and then you have v1, v2, and so on. Now, I do see some people talk about using major and minor versions for their versions. Now, I'm not a big fan of this. I think this is a hangover from the web services world, so SOAP and XML. Uh, now, what will happen, and one of two things generally, generally happens if you include a major and a minor version. Firstly, your existing consumers are going to be using some sort of URL and that will probably have the version. So if you've got major and minor as a version, if you add a new operation, do you really want a new endpoint? So that would require existing consumers to point to something new, and change is difficult. So you'll either lie about the version, you'll have version 1.0, and then you'll just stay on that. Even though you're up to version 1 underscore 5, you'll still stay on version 1. The other option that you'll do is you'll either go with a version where you go version 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, or you'll go version 1 underscore 0, version 2 underscore 0, version 3 underscore 0. So you only ever increment one of the digits. 
So if you're just honest about it and, and start off by using the major version, which is important from breaking changes, then just use that as your API version and move on with your life. And that is how you do API versioning.